sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats are with another hilarious reaction because sock studios just dropped a brand new video called can you survive a zombie apocalypse now i'd like to think i could because i'm pretty resourceful i also got a jeep and i was in the military and i got some good you know uh survival skills and i love camping so i think i'd survive but what I'm more curious about is if they could and their explanations of how it's gonna happen. So I'm beyond a hype for this fam, but before we jump in, why don't you show Sock Studio some love by subscribing to their channel. And if you enjoyed my reaction, smash that subscribe button because it greatly helps. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb acid drill. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce. Ooh, let's go spicy meatball you do if you run a zombie apocalypse right yeah. at this moment how would you survive like right now find the nearest female zombie oh. <laughs> <laughs> no i i would <laughs> i would not want to mate with the zombies let me get that real here hey, let's be honest if there was a zombie apocalypse we all know who caused it the british people bro no yeah, they're playing yeah. me government? They're pretty much already zombies i'm government. gonna say it was mr beast he did it it's the year 2024 <laughs> and he's officially lost his mind it's gotta be the carl candy he decides to release a virus on the world and it's all for a youtube video why a would YouTube you do video? that 200 million subscriber special <laughs> i would get zero views everyone would be dead he, he's true. gonna say it like this this is an intro he's gonna say last to survive this deadly virus will win the whole planet and actually lives exactly in that tone holy moly obviously i the alpha man i am you know i've survived and all of you guys are zombies obviously and my first goal is to get protection now what would be the best protection against the zombie apocalypse obviously my own dragon dragon you want this dragon where do you too? get the dragon helmet charizard is unbelievably good looks thank you dragon city for sponsoring this oh video. my god it's a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices Bruh. where you can build an empire i love a really clever ad read but habitats buildings I'm like over so thousands impatient of dragons. though man that's, that's a long can my dragon fly yeah incredible <laughs> there's 10 right, there we go you can there play we go. one dragon Man. Mr. Beast. My actual first goal is to reach the Mr. Beast Island. He has Ooh, a Mr. One. Beast nuke silo in there. This is happening in one year? And by the time this video comes out, happen. it's probably already happening right now at this very moment. So <laughs> they're good coming. Thing they're watching this video the zombies are coming, you know fam. Hello, zombie me. We got to go to Mr. Beast Island. How do we get there, right? I need to get myself strapped off. I need a weapon. My weapon of choice is a frying pan. It's, there's no better option. Because you could kill zombies and cook that's called multitasking it's and it's really meal, clever okay you can smack the zombies heads and you can make an omelet isn't that very unsanitary ah it's fine it's fine okay there's a lot of zombies they're surrounding me no problem i stick out my arms and i go you know like a helicopter like a tasmanian devil Two frying pans helicopter positioning movements no zombie can even touch me if you go too fast you'll lift off bro the second thing i need is to feed my hunger okay how am i gonna reach the mr beast island if i don't have my mr beast hamburgers you know what i do i set up a automatic chicken farm just like in mine i'll say this you should have done a better job with the title if you're gonna use mr beast for the whole video you should have clicked the title too click baited title like can mr beast survive a zombie apocalypse or could you survive a mr beast zombie apocalypse Joe with the water look see blonde's already know so we're not way people that know that you're going to talk about mr beast and it's click about. on it but it's 2023 there's no water it doesn't exist what do you mean there's no water beef guy it's a zombie apocalypse not a global warming <laughs> not a global warming <laughs> this is my chicken farm all right take a look at this okay oh, wow. <laughs> that looks right. so good it is okay i'm Beautiful. talking about a one by one space you fill it with thousands of chickens all laying eggs into a hopper how are they gonna fit in there? Bro, I will make them fit. It's, okay? it's Minecraft. For it's like Minecraft. Okay, and here, here's the here's the next level, all right? When they shoot out their eggs, it goes into a hopper that goes into a dispenser that then shoots out the eggs underneath the lava. And guess what? When those eggs hatch, babies, and then the babies grow up, and then they automatically burn in the lava because when they grow into an adult, they're too big. So they burn and die. What are you gonna eat now, though? You have to wait for them to grow up. Why don't you okay. just bring some eggs with the pan? I think he's played a lot of Minecraft. 
chicken's got to eat. Uh, seeds? Where are you going to get seeds from in a destroyed world? Okay, so basically, I got infinite food and I got weapons. I can make my way to Mr. Beast Island. It's Again, you can cook covered. the chickens. One thing, though. Well, I guess the I still got to get to the island, right? And I got to go undercover. I was going to say they're kind of smart, but after talking with you guys, I don't know. Uh, let's just say they're smart. Because uh, we're going to think like, that's right? that. They're, the zombies are expecting a Ford F-150, you know, with 512 gigs of RAM, a 16K so camera, spikes, mini holy guns, holy. you know, the whole package, right? That's what they're expecting. So instead, I take a bicycle. A bicycle. Oh, okay. A bicycle. Like, okay. So like unthreatening. Like one or just so uh, paddle one. All right, what if the zombies bite off your legs? What are you going to do then? What if you drive over broken bottle and both of your... Uh... Well, if they bit off your legs, you'd be bit, so you'd be a zombie. Problem solved. Then you don't need your legs. Then you can walk on your stumps and not feel the pain and go, uh Tires are flat. <laughs> you'll, you'll be screwed. I think the what legs if are your tires. bicycle seat is uncomfortable? What about that? What if your zombie steals your bicycle? That happens all the time. I have spare bicycles, so we're good. The thing is, I'm bicycling, right? All past these zombies, because they're looking for those crazy cars, you know, with the, with the weapons and stuff. So they're not going to go for me because I'm on a bicycle. They're going to be like, that guy's crazy. He can't be human. Yeah, they're listening through like the V8s and stuff. <laughs> they're waiting for it, but you just... He's on a bike. bicycle. He's so unthreatening. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle all the way to Mr. Beast Island, and we're, we're on good. the water. We're there. Bro, we can drive over water. Oh, my bicycle can go over water. Okay. I enter the Mr. Beast bunker, and bam, I nuke the entire world, eliminating every single zombie. Just like that. What if the nuke oh. goes plop in the Imagination. water? Imagination. A nuke would nope. still kill I think in the water, actually. <laughs> 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 no, because I'm, I'm in the bunker. I'm safe, and I marry my bicycle, and we live happily ever after. Oh, that's so cute. Bicycle children? Who has a better zombie apocalypse story? Let's find out. He run, he run. If there was a zombie apocalypse, uh, hypothetically, I would be dead. I would be in a very <laughs> End of story. If there's a I'm slight done. I'm dead. chance that I would have survived and I have a home, I have the perfect zombie defense. People are saying turrets, machine guns, sniper rifles, barbed wire, landmines. Get out of here. I don't want to see it. Somebody I don't want to see it. I brought an image. It's a little soggy from the water. It's a little soggy. I think I'm sure you can still see it. Fat males. <laughs> you survived the house with fat males. <laughs> Have I seen that before, dude? Was it a meme or something? Oh my, it's something like that. It's it's like the best way to survive a zombie apocalypse is to put treadmills all around your house. They could, you know what I mean? Because they just get it and be like, and I put treadmills. Story. You should shut the hell up. You see that little man on the right? He is walking to up to your house. Was, was it on a previous one you that we already reacted to? You tell your wife, wife, turn on the treadmills. And the treadmills are like, flying up. And they'll be walking and walking and walking. And then walking so long, they will literally burn all their fat to the bone and they will die instantly. What about for power? Right. How are you gonna power it up? That is genius. That is true. And I thought about Solar that. Solar power. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh, okay. So, we've run out of power. We've run out of food. We've run out of water. Where do we go? Are you asking me? I, I don't think me. I don't know. I don't know. I need water. I need food. I need electricity. You, but you need water? A Walmart? My idea was I go to the Walmart. And me going to Walmart, I just gotta use one of these plastic balls. See, I walk in the bubble. You safe. Do. Gonna roll my way to Walmart. Gonna get my like AAA little batteries. Roll back to home, replace them, and I'll be alive. Wait, I got some bad news. I think treadmills only run on double A. You're gonna have to go back. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Is that your zombie apocalypse strategy? <laughs> That's it. Nine out of ten. Thank you. You guys hear about my story? I'm in a zombie apocalypse. I, I'm the only one left alive, or I think. I'm the only one alive. A zombie apocalypse. As soon as the apocalypse happens, a thought comes in my head. My friends must be zombies too, right? So I, you That's know, the I'm first like... time that has a thought. <laughs> Any sort of consciousness. Oh, everyone just died. I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. What's happening in the world now? I, I got the meme guy. And he's a zombie. He's like... Rrr, 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 rrr. I love balls. What was that again? I think that's Say one more time. Right now. I see meme guy. There's a zombie. I'm like, oh my god, that's me, me. Okay, I go and bring him to my basement. Wait, are you sure you want to say this on YouTube, man? I yeah, kinda... yeah, I'm not. All right, so meme guy zombie. He's starting basement. off pretty sus. Behind a glass wall. He's like, bah, 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 give me balls. How did you manage to give bring me, me down to the basement and lock me in a glass? I put another male zombie down there and you got excited, okay? Oh it's my not god. my fault. Meme guy's down there and I'm like, hmm. I Good grab luck. a bunch 
bunch of gulab jamins and just eat it right in front of him. Mm, I'm so good. I love having paws in my mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, like this crazy. gulab jamins. Mm, mm, mm. I love, I love having paws. I make him dance. Yeah. Dance, dance, zombie dance. What did I do? What did I even do to you? You know how I thought I was the only one alive? Apparently, Meme God's mom is not alive. Mm. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. I think, married. Uh, I think you're married. Meme God's mom I and him are married. Done. I can't let humanity succumb to its illness. I ask Meme God's mom, will you save the world for me? I will reach my hand, wait for her to grab it. You know, since Meme God <laughs> amused me with his begging, I might as well give him the return. I'll amuse him with one final act of forgiveness. I'll amuse him with his mom. <laughs> that way, I, I I write that um yeah I write that 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 that's what I'm gonna that's amuse you story. with your I'm mom, mom bro. What? I think we hear a true what? zombie apocalypse story. We, we oh should my listen god. To, uh, we should listen. That's pretty. I like I like that. That was clever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of guns. I was just about they, they got a lot of guns, guns down there. And then I'll find a good place that has like a lot of supplies, right? So. A Walmart? A what? <laughs> like a Walmart's just the go-to for everyone for supplies. Plaza, have you ever actually even been to a Walmart? I've been to Walmart one time and I kissed a guy. All right, Alex. Are you cheating on me? Oh yeah, Walmart and um, so, and I'll drown the Walmart with treadmills. What? That guy did it. That is you. This you are a little liar. I wake up, I open my windows, and half of my treadmills are gone. I need them treadmills. You took them? How'd you take the treadmills? They're like 400 pounds. Ford F-150, bro. Oh, the He's Ford F-150. I have all these treadmills, Texas. so if the zombies, they try to get in, they'll just get stuck in an endless loop of walking. And every day, I'll just eat some food and try on like new clothes and like play video games <laughs> in the electronics section until like I just you got like, power with all the double A's or until the zombies get so jacked from working out 24 7 and break into my Walmart porches and then I'll just die. So your story is just surviving long enough to die. What if to you make don't the zombies have the jacked. key to like, you know, like they, they have, have like the swole on bro. behind the, the cages in Walmart and you need the key for it. They don't, okay, they don't have food behind that. They're like, they're like trying to. So well, now they do. Ever since Socks did that thing in Walmart. So, Ali, the Walmart Fortress, that is your idea. Yeah, but um, if I can't get to Texas, then I guess I'll just live on a boat and learn how to catch fish. A woman okay. fishing? Woman don't know how to fish. fish. <laughs> when did this guy get here? TBS, do, you, do you have a zombie apocalypse survival story? I Listen, okay, this is Don't laugh at that. I did if not you laugh at that, you, you're canceled. Whatsoever, but this is what would happen, okay? <laughs> I will wake up from a hospital. All of a sudden, coma. Walking dead? I, you, uh. <laughs> What you Way to call him out. I escaped this hospital. All right, Rick. I'm so my curious. Rick. Oh my god, what is wrong? Everything. My is... name's Rick. You had to just say the Walking Dead. You just had to say the Walking Dead. You just had to do it. You just couldn't let me tell my story. Were you just gonna tell the whole first episode of the Walking Dead and just be like, that's how I survived the zombie apocalypse? Were yeah. the explosions, TBH? I don't see. I was any. getting to it, but somebody had to tell my story for me. So that's walking how Dead did. The Apocalypse. All right, Juicy, can you beat what? any of these stories? So I wake up, I look at my TV, and then... I'm like, oh my god, oh gosh, I'm gonna get ready and prepare for my. Oh my god, okay. are you gonna get ready? Are you gonna equip your shields, Juicy? I'm just imagining him like tying his shoes, like putting on his bow tie. Did you guys know it took me until I was like 18 to tie my shoes? That's crazy. How are you gonna survive a zombie apocalypse if you can't even tie your shoes at 18? I stopped. Yeah, I mean, let's be real here. Let's be real. If you can't tie your shoes, you might struggle trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. In my house, in <laughs> I agree with that I'm statement. Put loads of trampolines. Hey! Hey! That's my idea! Yes, yes, yes. I... And I'm gonna bounce off of that. A row of trampolines and then a row of. Uh, 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 so on the inside of the house? Oh, yeah, a row of treadmills. Of you got, you got double you protection. Food, bro. There's, there's so many problems with this plan. No, I don't know what you mean. It's genius. How is this genius? I, there's so many problems. They're just gonna break into your house and kill you. 
you. I'll put the trampolines outside the house then. <laughs> Why oh, would they go on the trampoline? Too late. I'll surround my house with trampolines. So how what are they is... supposed to get in? They walk around the trampoline. Fine, fine. So they make it in the house, and then I'll fill my house with a foam pit. Me. No, those are hard to oh, get up. I... Yeah, I mean, let's be real here. Let uh, us humans struggle in foam pits. I, I, a zombie would be trapped in the bottom forever. Hey, no, hey, no, those no, are hard no. to I get. Think... Just live this life. It's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm just I'm still living. Living. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't you live basically in a zombie apocalypse every day in England anyway? You have to bring like swords out or something, right? I'm gonna fill my house with foam mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna set up Lego traps at the bottom of my Bro, stairs. They're, no, Lego Lego traps. they're all dude, I don't know if you realize this, but zombies are already dead. What if the zombies just eat the foam? Wait, that you gotta, you gotta you get your like home alone. They could just chew it. You're mom. actually giving them energy. <laughs> Ali's right, dude. Just, all your traps are like straight from home alone. Like you're gonna have like a bunch of like paint that you're gonna drop on the zombies or like throw some like train toy cars at them. Yeah, and did the two guys raid the children's house? The child's house? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, not about oh, you're right. They failed. Yeah, they failed, they failed. three yeah, times. They failed. Yeah. How many movies are there? Like seven? There yes. is, there is All of them story. That is not are bad terrible, but see. the first two. Honestly, and which, by the way, the first Home Loan is... I don't know if I can say it's my favorite movie of all... It's, it's a top five favorite. Actually, The Dark Knight's my favorite movie of all time. But the first Home Alone, bruh. It's my favorite, like, childhood movie. I love it. I love it. And then Goonies. Woo, Goonies. But yeah, Home Alone. Dope. Don't move. I think that's better than Alex, my childhood. At least you survived. I, yeah. I, 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 mean, I idolize. Property. Okay, Mr. Muffin. Uh, do you have a better Macaulay zombie Culkin. apocalypse Macaulay story? Culkin. I have the best one of everyone. Or Kevin right. McAllister. Wait, before you, before you, before you state alone. your story, you're, you're good because you like live in the middle of nowhere that they don't even know where you are. They like, they won't care. Probably just uh, stay with my mom. Uh, Listen, guys. <laughs> she cans a bunch of meat, okay? Uh -huh. She cans green beans, beets, mm -hmm. and meat. So I just live off that for like uh ever i'm gonna showcase you guys her canned meat why is it in a glass jar oh, canned meat? meat that sounds very <laughs> suspicious <laughs> that is so, yeah, the zombie for a year i'm bro you're gonna start the infection dude, right? my mom just she keeps making them if i run out you know what i do i capture zombies and be like make some Put canned zombie jar. and you know what my mom will do it you say make some canned zombie <laughs> dude i'm a genius you know you know what i do if they do come near me i get my canned meat and throw it at their face that's crazy they die <laughs> like one ammo you just yeah. you just throw one of them and that's it the bottle will snap and the monster inside the bottle will eat the zombie that was pretty good muffin at least better than some other ideas let's finish <laughs> off strong with the trampoline guy. idea yeah. all right and thank you guys so much for watching uh, if i, I mean, was in a zombie apocalypse okay i have a foolproof plan though not only can we just survive but also yeah! i have played many call of duty zombies games okay i got the ray gun the thunder gun all mm -hmm. that stupid uh, stuff right now you're talking Mm. No but it's all useless because you just have to go around keep you know keep going around shooting guns it's so boring i just need what three things for my zombie apocalypse what? i need a glob jamming one glob jamming how would this help you survive a zombie Shut apocalypse <laughs> I need galab jamun. I need diljit adoshan ji. What? And what? I need what? a trampoline. A trampoline. Five hundred foot tall. And now you're copying. Ah, uh, now you're taking yeah. juice's idea. Huh? Listen, listen. Uh, you... Step one. Okay. I'm gonna eat the galab jamun. Okay. Place it into my mouth. Hey yo. Okay. Spin it out. Get my energy up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step two. I spawn in Diljit. What? Still don't what know who that is. <laughs> Diljit Doshan. Is... Diljit Doshan. Saying his name faster does not make me know who that is. <laughs> Diljit Doshan. Uh, wait, actually, it's, it's the wrong guy. It's Dalir Mendi. The guy who did the thing. Doesn't even know okay. his own story, bro. I will spawn in Dalir Mendi. Okay, and he will cheer for me. Okay. Can we skip this guy? What do you mean skip me? I'm the last one. End Step the video. Three. I would end it. I climb up my 500 foot track. Trampoline. Cut off the ladder. Whoa, okay. where do you even get a 500 foot trampoline? Uh, you can't just. What? I built it. I knew this was going to happen. I need what food. Is, I kidnap the happen? birds flying by and I force them to lay eggs so I can eat them. I make a sky block eventually in the air, surrounded by my trampoline. Bro's playing Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> He wasn't the only one playing Minecraft. Let's be a hundred right oh, now. Yeah. Maybe because it doesn't exist. So that's your genius plan. I feel like mine is way better. What do you mean? I actually survive in mine. Unlike Nadway, who freaking tortures me. What did Blazer do? Blazer just drowned. TVH 
didn't even have one. What do you mean? I had a banger story. They made 18 <laughs> seasons. <laughs> <laughs> my story was so good, they made a Don't show around it. Download Dragon City using the link down below for all these rewards. You Let's want my go! Dragons, right? 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 Bruh. Okay. Like I said, I think... <sighs> I'm not saying I think I'd live forever, because let's be real here. So I think in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, oh, God, I'm about to die on my own saliva. I think I could survive the zombies. I think just like in The Walking Dead, what you got to worry about, it's the people, bro. A lawless society. As you all know, people are the worst things on the planet. There's good people, but there's a lot of bad people as well. You take away laws, you get a bunch of Hitlers and stuff like that. So I don't know. But this was awesome. This was hilarious. Some of these stories, bro. Uh, absolutely madness. But that's why Sock Studio is amazing because they're all funny and their stories are just absolutely hilarious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have an amazing Friday and a dope weekend. Make sure you show Sock Studio some love. Let me know in the comments, how would you survive a zombie apocalypse? And if you enjoyed my reaction, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, it's easy sleeping McBeats and as usual, we kind of want to know. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Gonna be love for the Sauce Gang. Peace out, Sauce Gang. Woo-woo.